international dividend paying names? Yeah, we're not really so focused on whether they're paying a dividend or not. A lot of them are, but they're not, it's not particularly a high dividend yield portfolio. Uh, what we're looking for is companies that have high profitability across a market cycle, stable profitability in low debt. So companies that would fit that uh, criteria, things like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Johnson & Johnson, Walmart, Microsoft big stable companies that everybody knows aren't going to be growing a ton from here and so nobody's that excited about but the good news is they give a lot of money back to shareholders through a combination of dividends and buybacks they have good return on capital and we think they're worth owning in terms of the overvaluation in the u.s can you put some numbers around that are we 10 percent overvalued when you look at equities as a whole you know, should the s p be dropping 10% from where it is or 15%? Is there a way to quantify uh, what looks at a, a more fair value in your eyes? Yes, there is. It can be a little bit misleading, though. Um, as we calculate it, we think fair value for the S&P is 1,100. So that's a lot lower than we are today. Now, that's not a statement that we think the S&P is going to go down to 1,100. Uh, it will probably take the market a while to come back down to fair value. And as that happens, gradually fair value grows. It grows with inflation. It grows with the growth of companies. So if it took seven years for the market to get back to fair value, it would probably basically be treading water for the next seven years. Um, and that's our best guess of what's going to be happening in the U.S.